Hello and welcome to another command block tutorial. Today's video we're going to be showing you how to turn a snowball into a really explosive grenade. Uh, currently I have mob griefing, mob griefing off, however if I did not it would absolutely be destroying parts of the world. Uh, you can also see it does a lot of damage. It's very very powerful as a weapon. Does a ton of damage, has a massive blast radius, it's bigger than TNT, it's more powerful than TNT, blows up on impact, uh, just commands. Alright, so, uh, for the new version, you're going to see that it's four commands, whereas the old version of the commands for execute, you're going to see it's actually six. And this is why I am a fan of the new execute changes, because for certain things like this, it's going to make things a lot simpler, you can do things in less commands. The commands are a little bit longer, but there's less of them in the new version than there is in the old version. So I'm going to explain both versions. I'm going to go through the new version first and then the old version. So to start out, what we want to do is for every snowball that doesn't have the tag boom, we want to summon an ender crystal 10 blocks above it. Then we want to give all snowballs the tag boom. This is just to ensure that we're not spawning multiple end crystals per snowball. Then, we're going to use this command, which is more or less just going to be teleporting the end crystal alongside wherever the snowball is. So there's a lot of stuff going on here. I'm not going to explain all of it. You guys can just kind of copy this. Like I said, it's a little bit more complicated, but it's less commands. This basically is all it's doing is teleporting the end crystal behind where the snowball is, just to ensure the snowball is not hitting it early and making it detonate early. Then we have this. Like I said, this is another very complicated execute command. What we're doing is we're checking at the end crystal, uh, and then it's checking unless there is a snowball within three blocks. So if there's no snowball within three block radius, then it's going to run the event to make the crystal explode. And that's how we're triggering it. We're waiting for the snowball to disappear because it would have hit the ground. And then basically it's going to detect, hey, the snowball is no longer here. That means I should probably be blowing up. And that's what it does. Uh, and one thing to keep in mind, don't throw this right in front of you, because you will kill yourself if you throw it right in front of you. It's a lot of damage. But you can see the little end crystal on the side of my screen, of course. Additionally, throwing multiple in a row, you are able to do that. Just be aware that the blast radius of one will make it trigger, will make a second one trigger midair. You can see when I fire two in a row. Uh, it, it will make a second one trigger in there. If you're chaining it like this, you're going to probably blow yourself up because they're going to blow up beside you. And But yeah, now to the old version. So this can be pretty much the same thing. We have an execute, then we're summoning the end crystal. And then we are adding the snowball tag. This one's not even at all different. It's exactly the same. Uh, then we're going to do the TP command. So we're just going to basically say execute the snowball, teleport, behind where the snowball is and a little bit above it. Uh, then this is the part where it gets more complicated. This is the difference between the old version and the new version. So what we're going to be doing this time is anytime there's a snowball, it's going to add a tag to any nearby end crystal. Then in this version, it's going to say, okay, make any end crystal that does not have the tag have the crystal explode event. So it's going to blow up. And then up here, we're just going to remove the tag boom. And you can also see that this one is on a one tick delay. Everything else in here is not on a one tick delay. Uh, these are set to needs redstone, but you'd want them always active uh, in your world if you're using the old version. I just have them off because this is not the version I'm using. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's going to be six commands for the old version, four for the new, and just for fun. You can see it is a massive explosion. Like I said, it does a ton of damage too. It's gonna one hit basically anything that's not a boss. It's a really powerful grenade. And yeah, that's about it. Hope you guys enjoy, have fun with this. It's very fun to mess around with. If you guys have any questions, either leave it in the comments, let me know in Discord. If you guys like what I do, feel free to subscribe. Uh, I don't upload consistently. Additionally, I will have some other videos coming up on not my channel in the somewhat near future. So I'll let you guys know when that happens. If you enjoyed the video, good. If not, um, 
Sorry to hear that.